What's going on? James Bonnie's here. In this video, I am going to talk about ongoing reputation management as a service. Now, if you remember in my past videos, I've talked about uh, reputation management as a database reactivation type of service where the client will send you their customers every week, every, uh, biweekly or every month, right? Or maybe even every quarter. And the most requested video so far on this channel since I started posting more frequently is James, can you do a video on how to set up within Go High Level ongoing reputation management? And I finally had time since I was moving offices uh, to sit down and walk you guys through the process of how to set up in Go High Level ongoing reputation management. Now, before I jump into that, let's explain the problem and then the solution, which is in this video. The problem is, is that, of course, in our business, we want to automate everything, right? We want to charge our, uh, we want to charge based on our value versus based on the amount of time we work. That is business 101. Uh, otherwise, you might as well just be an employee and go back to a nine to five, right? But that's not what this is about. So how can you charge for a service on a monthly basis and eliminate yourself from having to do anything within that, especially reputation management? Now, there's obviously a lot of services, but this video is only about reputation management. So the problem is, is the fact that you have to constantly go back and uh, ask the client for you know their past customers, um, which is fine to begin with, but ongoing that you know it's a pain, right? and it requires effort and time on your behalf, okay? And it requires effort and time on your client's behalf, which we do not wanna do, all right? We wanna try not to do that as much as possible. And so um, the problem is, is that you need some sort of trigger, right? You need something to trigger within the system of go high level to say, hey, put this person, first of all, add this person and then put them into a workflow. And right now, obviously, there's no way to do that unless you connect to their CRM, you connect to their POS system, you connect to something, okay? And that is the exact case. And I'm gonna share with you how to do that, okay? Um, I, I can't go through every connection. Uh, you can literally follow the steps that I'm gonna go through, the way, um, the way I'm gonna connect my uh, system for what we do uh, in-house. And um, you could do it with Square, Shopify, you have to look at what connections are available, okay? Their CRM, whatever it might be. And uh, and then we can create within Zapier to then add the customer with a review request tag that will add them to um, what we call the true review campaign. So then it's all automated, okay? So let's jump on my screen right now. Let me share with you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, and maybe you haven't watched my past reputation management video. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, post it up here. However, I don't want you to click off this video. Matter of fact, I'm not going to post it up there. Uh, I'll put the link to that down below and I'll post it up on top at the end of this video. Uh, so you can quickly go there, but if you haven't watched that, um, at the end of this, go ahead and go watch that because then this will make more sense to you. So campaign one is what we call the reactivation, um, database reactivation campaign. Okay. That's campaign one. That's what the C one is for Uh basic true review campaign, uh, only because we've been teaching uh, reputation management for years. And so we kind of coined it uh, true review within our own community coaching program. Uh, so we just kept it the same and go high level. And that's our campaign too. That's the ongoing campaign to reputation management. Uh, down here, review link clicked and um, negative feedback received. Again, at the end of this video, you can see the complete setup of, of all this, all right? Today, we're working with the campaign two, all right? In the last video that I did on reputation management, we didn't talk about campaign two, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about now. Okay, and so if you go into campaign two, as you can see here, the triggers here is opportunity marked as one and request review tag. This is what the important part of how we're going to start all this. Okay, so remember request review tag in your head. All right, and we're going to go over to contacts here. Uh, there's no personal, inf this is all fake uh, emails. As you can see here, there's a tag that's reactivation review. Okay, but you don't see any tags here that is called review request. 
because that's the ongoing campaign. All right. And so I'm going to share with you exactly how to do it. All right. So we need two tabs open. We need our go high level or agency toolbox, whoever it is that's watching this. And we need uh, Zapier. Okay. And I set most of this up already because I didn't want this video to be 20 minutes. Uh, so, but you can, it, you'll understand how to do it. All right. And so once we uh, have our campaigns all set up, right, we're in this review and management um, automation, we know that we need to get people into this one, which we're going to do with a requ request review. Okay. And so if I go over here, I'm going to do a, a walkthrough. We use pay kickstart to collect payments from clients. Okay. Uh, and I want to use a tangible per, uh, purchase as an example, uh, cause it'll just be easier to understand. Sometimes if you're talking services, you're talking other things, it gets a little confusing. Uh, so anything that connects to Zapier from a POS system or a CRM, you can do this. Okay. And in this case, people place orders within an order form on a, a company called pay kickstart. Okay. Square Shopify, whatever you want to call it. All right. All right, so let me just recreate it. So if I type in um, the POS that we use for certain things, right, that's pay kickstart. If it was square, point of sale, oh my God, but whatever, square right here, or I think it's square or Squarespace, one of them, or what, Shopify? Shopify, uh, I don't know what else is there. There's that, there's that really popular one. Whatever it is, if it's a popular or even somewhat popular POS system, I'm sure you can connect it. But let's start with pay kickstart, okay? And um, then I'm gonna choose an event and the new event is gonna be new order, okay? And I'm gonna hit con uh, continue. And here is like where the campaign within the POS system um, would be. And so for me, uh, as an ex oh no, it's, uh, it's gonna be swag. So it's like t-shirts and stuff. And then I'm gonna choose We'll choose both the two products that are on that a gray t-shirt, black t-shirt. Okay. And one thing to keep in mind is if you have, if it's square or something like that, I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to assume that there's an easier way to, to choose all the products, right? I think you just leave it blank and then it's going to be any new order that comes through. All right. So let me hit continue testing trigger. I'm going to hit test trigger. All right. And so what it'll do is it'll pull an order as an example, right? And so I put in a test order real quick right here. Um, and so, or that would be order D. If you can't find an order you wanna use as a test, you can continue to hit load more until you find it, okay? Then you can hit continue. And now it's gonna ask you, what's the action? And this is where we start to get into go high level, right? We're gonna do a lead connector, choose the event. We're gonna do uh, add update contact. We're gonna hit connect. And then it's going to ask you, these are all sub accounts, right? So if you want to, you hit connect a new account. All right. And then you're just going to grab the API key of that sub account. All right. Paste it there and hit yes. You can find that in the company info in, uh, information. So this one's already here. So that's that. All right. And then in here is now remember the order happened outside of go high level. We want to add customer data into go high level. Uh, there's a connection in Zapier. And now all we're going to do is choose um, new order. That's my, my test order. Uh, we're going to choose Bonadies. Uh, we're going to do phone number. Again, this is um, not a real phone number. Uh, we're going to choose email. Okay. That's my spam email. We're going to choose address, hit show more options, uh, bu 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 billing address, postal code. Now you don't have to, you could just do name and email uh, and phone number, right? Because you want to make sure you can text them. And here is the important thing. We're going to add a tag. All right. And if you remember, what's that tag going to be? Request review, request, request review. It could be customer. It could be whatever you want it to be. This particular case with our snapshot, it's requ uh, request review. Go back to Zapier. And so we're going to give it request review. Okay. It has to match perfectly. All right. Then over here has a star mark as lead hit false. Cause it's not a lead. It's a contact. 
Uh, and then that's it. And then we'll hit continue. All right. And we're going to hit test action. All right. A contact was added to lead connector and we're going to go and check. And there I am. Okay. And so it threw me into the true review campaign. And so every time somebody places an order now within my system, I now have ongoing reputation management all through Zapier. Okay. All through Zapier. And that's how you do it. Very, very simple. You know, a lot of people get confused about this. Uh, the only confusing thing would be setting up Zapier, right? That, that really would be the only confusing thing. But all you're really doing is kind of saying, what's the POS system or what is it? What system are they using? And when this happens, do this. All it is is like an if then. If this happens, then do this. And then in our uh, automations, all we have is a trigger that says anybody with, take a look over here, um, anybody here, right? Customer and request review, okay? Um, add them to that location, okay? And if I go over to my email, you won't see an email uh, from me because I'm waiting for an hour, right? So if I wanna test this, and say, well, I don't want to wait an hour to see if this, you know, is going to work. You, all you do is click this and hit this, move all contacts to the next step, move all, and then it'll push them. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. It'll push them here and then it'll push them here and then it'll push them here. I won't get a text message because I put a fake phone number in. Funny enough, I put a fake phone number in. And as you can see, I had to blur a few things out because I put my real address in. Probably not the best thing to do. Uh, and then I'm going to go and check my email. Here we go. Uh, James Bonnies, please leave a review, 30 seconds only. Uh, hey, James, we really appreciate the opportunity to serve people like yourself. Can you please leave a review for my business here? It takes less than 30 seconds. Click it. How would you rate us? Four stars. Perfect. Leave a review on Google. And this was just an example that I did. I used Chris's, uh, this guy I work with, uh, GMB. Um, and that's it. Like it's done. It's all happening all live, all as orders come in. So like, for example, a client of mine that owns a sporting goods store hooked up to his POS system and all, every time somebody gets rung up in the system, leave a review. Right. Um, and if you do the two star, sorry to hear that you're not satisfied. Please provide us with your feedback. Oh, I'm not happy. I'm Jeremy email feedback, hit submit. And all these automations auto, auto, automatically happen. Uh, down here uh, is just checking to see if the review link was clicked because of the trigger links. If yes, they get removed. If no, they're going to get another reminder, right? We don't want to bombard people with this. Um, and then so uh, review link clicked, as you could see, and that's how it would work. Now, over here, uh, review link clicked, right? Right now, uh, I only have a C1 campaign. That's why my emails weren't in the last one. So if I added, which would be trigger link clicked, and then all we would do, this is what? This is a review link clicked. So we would add a filter, uh, trigger link, and then we're gonna tell it which trigger link was it. It was a review request link, and then we're gonna hit save, and then we're gonna hit save. So now one of those two things will happen. Okay, so this would be um, C2 trigger link clicked. And then for the negative feedback received, um, if they gave a three, two or one, then it'll push them into this. Okay. And that is basically the training on how to connect. And as you can see, I think I already talked about this, see how it added it to here, it pushed into the automation. And now you have an ongoing reputation management service that you can now sell for whatever you want. <laughs> So uh, I'll probably get this, th this question down below, which is how much should I sell it for? It depends on the niche. You know, as I've explained in many videos and you can go watch the SAS, uh, SAS versus SMMA, so hard for me to say, uh, video right here above. Um, and don't forget in the description down below will be the reputation management setup. Um, if you go watch that, I, I talk heavily about um, selling the service with the software, okay? 
You're not going to get people to just stop their whole business to go work in the little software that you think is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I can promise you that business owners think that the software that they're using is the greatest thing since sliced bread because it's the software that is built for them. This software is built for you as an agency. It's not built for them. It's built as a tool for you to go and use to, as an add-on to increase your value and your price and to make your life a heck of a lot easier. For example, automations, right? And so I highly suggest that uh, if you're in this business that you sell the service with the software, okay? The software is like that bonus that you can always throw in. Increase your prices. Hey, listen, you're gonna get a full CRM whether you need it or not. Um, it's extremely useful for tracking purposes for your business. We'll be able to tell you everything um, that is going on with all the, you know, the money that you're paying me. When you ask me, am I getting an ROI on this? I can lo log into my, uh, to this software and tell you the work that I'm doing is returning this many leads, this many customers, this much money type of thing. Okay. Um, the work that I'm doing has delivered you and by the way, this is, you'll run into this a lot. It's like, well, they'll come back to you and say, well, how do I know that I'm getting more reviews because of you? Well, I know because I have it and I can show you and I can run a report for you. Okay. Um, so that's what it's for. It's a tool to make you more valuable. All right. And so 500, 600, a thousand a month, reputation management, reactivation. We'll also send out specials if you want. We can create a whole automation around that. Uh, and then any uh, current and future clients that come along your way through your POS system or however they collect payments, we can create an automation to constantly go out and ask for reviews. How does that sound, Mr. Business Owner? Right? You don't have to do any work. We'll handle it all. And it's for some people, it could be, you know, it could be worth thousands of dollars a month. All right, for some niches. All right, guys, please comment down below. Tell me if this video was helpful. If you have any questions, again, put it in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and of course, turn the notifications on because I try to get out one to two videos a week, and I hope that these videos are valuable because I'm listening to what you guys are asking me, and I'm doing videos around it, okay? So again, also comment down below. What other videos would you like to, uh, to see? Not necessarily around Go High Level unless you want to, uh, but it could be around anything agency related, even business related. I talk about real estate. I talk about life insurance. I talk about anything business related. I don't know where this channel is going to go, but for right now, kind of happy where it's going. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. And until next time, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.